Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're gonna do something I hope that you're excited about. I know I'm excited about it. I got my things that I ordered from Beautylish for Wayne Goss. In theory, this shouldn't take very long because <laughs> I only have five things, but you know how I am. All right, so what I got was, I got two pencils, I got a lipstick and two glosses. And my rationale for this was that I can switch this lipstick up with these other four products. And I have a plethora of lipsticks already that I can't seem to decide to wear because there's too many choices. So not so much when it comes to glosses and pencils. So I got four Wayne Goss pencil gloss items and one lipstick. I'm sure you've seen this all over YouTube. This is the Wayne Goss lipstick tube and it's small, I think. This reminds me of a Clinique lipstick. Uh, and I know that because both Clinique and Wayne Goss, I can't push into my carousel. I'll show you a picture of it here. Uh, because, I mean, I could if I stuffed a Kleenex or something down in there so it would stick out so I can get it. The package is sleek, black, it says Wayne on this side, Goss on the other. It doesn't have the magnetic closure that I like, but it does have a snap on there. So you're not going to lose the cap in your purse. And that's important. While I do associate a magnetic closure on a lipstick with luxury, I will say that Wayne may have even thought about this. I have a lot of those now and they repel each other. <laughs> it's like, that's fun. Don't believe me, put them on the desk and chase them around the desk. <laughs> so I, I really do like this. It is very secure. Showing you this in comparison to, you know, pretty standard size lipstick tubes, Tom Ford and Lancome here. You know, here it is in comparison to a MAC lipstick. That's what I mean when I say it's little. Size doesn't really matter with the tube though, because look, that looks like a pretty standard bullet to me. I got mine in the shade Carnation. Let me show you the shade. There really is a strategy behind me choosing the shade Carnation. At this price point for a lipstick, I need to know the formulation first. I did the same thing with Lisa Eldridge. I wanted to try it first before I go buy it anymore. So I would have done that even if I had the money. But this particular shade I picked because I thought with the other products I chose, I could alter the look of it a little bit and get different looks with it. What we have then is the lipstick in Carnation. I have the lip pencil in Natural Berry. And I do wanna say that I thought that there would be more of a difference between these two, but there's not. So this is Natural Berry, and then this one is Mauve, and it's darker than Berry. Then I got these two glosses. Now this one is Antique Rose, and I was really excited about this, and this is totally different than I thought it was gonna be. First off, let's look at the doe foot. Okay, the doe foot is different. I have wiped off the doe foot for Antique Rose now because I want you to take a look at it. It is like this and flat, see? The flat side seems to work really good for putting the gloss on. The gloss is not sticky, it doesn't taste bad, it's not uncomfortable. I really like it, but this is totally not what I was expecting. This has a lot of glitter in it and it stays on your mouth. <laughs> After the gloss is gone, the glitter is left behind. But it's not a obnoxious glitter, I don't think. I think it's a sophisticated glitter. If you look at that, okay, and this gloss is called Chrysanthemum.
These lip pencils, what I love about them is that you can sharpen them. My favorite lip pencil is one that you sharpen. It's one of the reasons that I still adore MAC. But unlike MAC, these pencils are creamy, but they're not so creamy that every time you use it, you have to sharpen it. You just saw me use these a few times now, and I didn't have to sharpen it. I do have pencils that are so creamy, so soft, that when you put it on, yeah, it glides on like a dream, but... <laughs> you have to sharpen it each and every time you use it. Oh, if it's a $4 pencil from the drugstore, that's one thing. But when you pay this much for a lip pencil, you would like to think that you would have it for a little bit. I'm super stoked that I got these two because I think they're perfect to work with each other as you saw me do. One outline, one fill in. Perfect. They stay on your mouth a decent amount of time. They feel so comfortable on your mouth. A lot of times as an older woman, when I color my mouth in with a lip pencil, there's all these lines and stuff to where my mouth looks old. And I want my mouth to look plump, just like the young girls. And you saw what my mouth looked like with just these lip pencils on here. So I think that this is a great formula. Like I said, I love that you sharpen them and they're not retractable, so you always know where you stand as far as needing more. They feel good, they stick around. These are an excellent buy, I think. The lipstick itself, I forgot to point out that it says Wayne Goss up here on the top too. You can't see it because it's so shiny, shiny, <laughs> but it does. And it goes on like a dream. It's really soft, feels almost nourishing. I think that it has really great opacity to it. It doesn't come off all over my mouth. I don't smear it everywhere. Sometimes if I get a lipstick that is this nourishing, it will get into my little lip lines and start feathering out. And I've got a few from brands, you know, that I really love that have this nourishing kind of feel to them that, you know, it's not a pretty situation. But this lipstick doesn't do that to me. The lip glosses, let's have a talk, girl. Just me and you. Come in here. I'm not really a gloss girl. All right. I will put them on for short amounts of time. You know, a picture doing a YouTube video. And the reason for that is twofold. One, I don't like a lip gloss feel on my mouth. It just feels like it's either sticky or too slippery or, you know, makes a mess of my lipstick. It seems like always when I wear a lip gloss, I'm wearing my lip products on my teeth within five minutes. Knock on wood, I've not had a situation yet using his lip glosses of this ending up on my teeth. All of it works so cohesively together. My favorite is actually this one. No surprise there. I just wasn't expecting for that glitter to hang around. And I'm gonna try to wipe this off in a minute and hopefully I'll come in close and you can see what I'm talking about. You would think I would be bothered with leftover glitter on my mouth, but it's such a weird small speck of glitter that it almost gives my lips a a little bit of a sheen and you don't realize that it's glitter. This formula is aces. If you are a woman who doesn't really like gloss, you'll like this one. I am not sorry that I got any of this and I would like to have more of this. I can't wait to see what else Wayne Goss brings out. If you don't know it already, then by gosh, I'm here to tell you that you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not feeling like you're being blessed or you feel blessed or you feel, you know, if you feel down in the dumps, there's a lot of people who are right now, but I'm here to tell you that you can get over that really quick. Just go be kind, be a blessing to somebody else. And when you do that, you'll automatically improve your disposition. Until I see you again. Love you, see ya, bye. And I'm out. Uptown funk you up. Uptown funk you up. Uptown funk you up. Uptown time to 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 do. Oh my God, it's already on. I was just loosening up. I didn't know it was already on. Wouldn't it be hysterical if I told you guys you were coming here to see Wayne Goss and then I started putting on Charlotte Tilbury? <laughs> I'm gonna do that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't drink booze, okay, or wine. But the way things are going today, thinking about it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. But. I don't know. No, I'm not. Maybe. No, I'm not. <sighs> I, I've lost my glasses. I mean, I know I have these, but I lost my other ones. What the heck? How do I do that? What's painful is when you lose all your glasses. <laughs> You're like, where are they? Yeah, I hope we're going to do something that you guys are looking forward to in the mature community or beyond. <laughs> I feel like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> to Wayne Goss and beyond. Stop that. What? This is smeary. It's 
all smeary. Gosh darn it. I don't have a choice but to wear these because I lost the other ones. Hang on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, don't act like you've never done that. Have you never done that? <laughs> Theoretically, this won't take very long um, because I only have like five things to show you, but of course you know I'll drag that out to the end of eternity because we just started at them. Which one did I get? You tell me. Don't know, do you? Man, you guys, I tell you, you never pay attention. I already said what I got. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm just seeing if you're awake. Are you awake? Wake up! No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please come back. Don't, don't, don't leave. I'm sorry. So size doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm thinking, do I have lipstick? Do I have lipstick? Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Do you have lipstick on your teeth? I don't know. <laughs> it's lipstick or stuck on my teeth. All right, I'm gonna take this Kleenex and wipe this off. I wanna, let me wipe this off on something that will totally stick to it. All right, if I look a little bit different, it's because I've been wrestling around with a wane on the floor. These wanes, not the real wane. Wane, her, <laughs> Not the real wane, real wane, not the real wane. Little wane, isn't that a rapper? Stay on track. Look, no strings. Look, no strings attached. <laughs> I wouldn't string you along. <laughs> Until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. That kind of looked, what are you doing? It was like you were going like this. <laughs>